Welcome back to a GR86 Cup lap guide. This week we're at Okayama. And for this lap, I was really focusing on my throttle inputs. That's because there's a number of corners around here where we're not hitting the brakes. So how we manipulate the throttle determines how the car rotates on entry and how much speed we can carry through the apex. So if you can only focus on one thing to allow you to extract more performance around Okayama, focus on the throttle. Coming across the line to start our fast lap as we head into turn one, which is a long duration right hand corner. Because it's a long duration corner, we have to be very patient with the throttle. So we can't get back to full throttle until we're well past the apex curb. It's gonna be a firm but quick break, just at the start of these black tire marks in front of us. We're only getting up to about 80% pressure and then we're immediately peeling off as we drop it down to the third gear. Trail breaking into the apex and you can see I'm already slightly on the throttle before I touch my right hand side tires on the apex curbing. As we touch our right side tires on the curbing, I'm now thinking about getting back to the throttle as we've allowed our car to rotate through the apex. So we get off that curbing, I'm now back hard on the throttle, using all of the road on the left-hand side, hustling the car back to the right-hand side to set up this fast, sweeping left-hander. This corner leads onto a long straight, so it's really critical that we lift off the throttle early to allow the car to rotate so we can get back to throttle early and get a great exit onto the long straight. I'm not breaking through this corner, so just after turn in, I'm going to be lifting off the throttle to help rotate the car. So we turn in, and just after turn in, I start to slowly peel off the throttle. But you can see, even at the apex, I don't let it get to 0% throttle. I want to try to keep up as much minimum speed as I can. So we're going to touch our left side tires on this left hand apex curb. And as we touch this curb, I'm going to begin slowly getting back to full throttle. And then as we come off the curb, I am now back to 100% throttle, using all of the road on the right hand side, shifting it into fourth gear when I see those blue lights, minimizing the distance traveled on the straight as we head into a challenging but very important long duration right hander. It's critical that we get back to throttle very early through this corner because it leads on to such a long straight. It's gonna be a really hard break, about 10 meters before the 50 board on the left hand side. You can see that we're all the way up to 100% brake pressure. But as I begin trailing off the brakes, I'll use a trick that I learned in the Formula 4 car, where I'm going to use the throttle to help balance the car while I'm still on the brake pedal. So as we come in towards the apex, I peel off the brake pedal, but you can see there I've already started to apply the throttle just to help balance the rear of the car to keep it from sliding. And as we come in towards the apex, since I've balanced the car, I can get back hard to throttle very early touching our right side tires on the apex curb, back to 100% throttle, not going all the way out to the left because the car can understeer there, and not staying all the way to the right because we want to carry as much speed through the exit as we can. We're having it all the way to the blue lights into fourth gear. We're heading now into a tighter and more technical section of the course. It starts with this 180 degree hairpin. It's a conventional hairpin, but we're taking a very late apex with a late downshift into first gear to allow us to get a great exit. It's gonna be another very hard application of the brakes about 10 meters before this tower on the left-hand side. We're braking hard all the way to 100% pressure, but then immediately begin trail braking as we turn the car in towards the apex, carrying, as you can see, a fairly significant trail brake all the way into about here, where we're now in first gear, which will allow the car to rotate really well through the exit we get hard on throttle, revving all the way to the blue lights in first gear, hustling the car back to the right-hand side to set up two challenging left-handers. We're not going to be braking through either of these corners, so it's really critical that we time how we lift off the throttle perfectly to carry a ton of speed through the first apex, and then a ton of speed through the second apex as well. Through the first left-hander, we're just going to be slowly lifting off after turn-in. So we slowly lift off throttle after turn-in, all the way until we're about 5% throttle at the apex. But as we get over the apex, we're hard back on the throttle, making sure to use all the road on the right-hand side to set ourselves up for a really challenging left-hander. We're gonna be turning in just at the start of this curbing in front of us, but we're gonna be peeling off the throttle maybe about 10 meters before that. So we peel off the throttle and then abruptly turn into the left. You can see that we only peel off to about 50% throttle, and then we're gonna to wanna to get back to throttle really early before we hit the apex. 
So we're at 15% throttle, and now we're feeding the throttle back in, back in. Use that apex curbing all the way back to 100% throttle. Use all of the exit curbing on the right-hand side. Third gear coming into two challenging, really tight 180-degree hairpin corners. Through the left-hand hairpin, we're going to use second gear to allow us to carry a lot of speed through the apex. But then through the right-hander, we're going to use first gear to help us get good rotation through the apex and then allow us to get a great exit. It's going to be a quick break, about 5 meters after the 50 board on the right-hand side. We quickly apply the brakes and begin angling the car towards the middle of the corner. Immediately peeling off the brakes, trying to trail brake into the apex. You can see the car is getting a little squirrely, a little loose there, and I start applying the throttle early to help balance the rear of the car. We're back on the throttle, using all the road on the right-hand side, trying to carry a ton of speed through this first hairpin. And then we're immediately hustling the car back to the left-hand side, and we're going to lift off early because it's really easy to overdrive the entry of this corner and to cause the car to understeer. So we lift off early and then just slightly dab the brakes, drop it down to the first gear, and you're gonna feel the car really rotate in first gear through this corner. And we're back hard on throttle before we hit this late apex. Using first gear to give us a good drive out of that corner, into second gear, into third gear, easy flat through this right-hander, and coming into the final corner on the lap. Because it leads onto a long straight, we wanna make sure we get a good trail break and an early application of the throttle so we can carry a ton of speed. We're just going to quickly jab the brakes about 5 meters after the end of this green curbing on the left hand side. At curbing ends, a quick jab of the brakes just to help rotate the car in towards the apex. We are trying to touch our right side tires on this apex curbing to help give us a little extra rotation. But you see I carry slightly too much speed. The car just understeers a little bit wide. I'm trying to get back to throttle, but the front end isn't biting. I have to hesitate slightly before getting back to throttle gives us a slightly worse exit than I would like. We're gonna lose about two tenths on the exit because of that. Third gear, fourth gear, and we're gonna come across the line to set a 144.272. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great week of racing. I hope this video was helpful. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys next time.